Now, I'm curious, because you, you brought up this issue of 12 gigahertz, and I know that Starlink recently was making an issue of this. This is an ongoing proceeding about uh, whether or not um, we uh, should make 12 gigahertz more open to terrestrial use, whereas right now it's reserved for, I believe, um, um, uh, what is it, like uh, for satellite service, basically. So what brought that up, Travis? Was it seeing the articles about that? or was there Well, I, I, think, I, think, I think the whole the issue is, is it, it works so well you know, out in areas that are unserved, that if you've got a LTE provider that's starting to blast 12 gigahertz, you know, um, horizontally into, into everybody's dish, the effectiveness and the, the self, the interference is going to be terrible and probably, quite frankly, destroy Starlink altogether. So, right. And you got to remember that Dish Networks owns a whole giant pile of it, and that's, they plan to use it for, for short-haul broadband data. And they're, and they're talking about getting really good speeds with it. So, um, and that, yeah, that will absolutely kill it. I've, this has been coming for five years and, and I think that dish is, you know, I think that Starlink has been dreaming. I mean, they're going to get interference and which means they're going to have to put their base stations in the middle of, you know, the Arctic or something. <laughs> So. Well, let's um, just to be clear, I feel like uh, the folks at um, Dish would probably be uh, upset about this, uh, that, that it will totally interfere. I mean, I feel like um, what I see from people that I trust on this issue, like Harold Feld, among others, is that the FCC is studying it. And although we rag on the FCC constantly and deservedly so for doing a terrible job on things like mapping and, and it sure doesn't look like it's getting better. Anything that I'm hearing out of DC regarding the FCC's mapping process. Um, when it comes to engineering, I would expect that they, they're they working on a report that should be available soon, I think, about whether or not they believe that they can allow these things to coexist. And my expectation is a lot of people are, are think that this will be a very credible report. Most of their reports are, so we'll see. Yep.